to say things are strained between Meghan Markle and half-sister Samantha Grant would be a serious understatement. It seems that every time you turn around, Grant has something new to say about the Duchess. The feud is in the spotlight now that Markle has officially joined the royal family, but were the sisters ever really that close? Where did the feud with Meghan Markle come from? Although it can't be confirmed for sure why there is such animosity coming from Grant, she claims that Markle is to blame. In her statements, she repeatedly tells the press that Markle has turned her back on the family and they have done nothing but reach out and desire to be close. When asked why their father and Markle are estranged, Grant blamed it on Markle's personality, he gave her everything and is an incredible dad, she wrote. Why did she goes to her best friend of 30 years, the entire family, Piers Morgan, and why did her staff members quit? I guess everything does something to her. Classic narcissism. In another interview, Graham claimed it was her physical limitations that caused a separation between the sisters. Grant has multiple sclerosis and is wheelchair bound. She told the son, I didn't feel a separation from her until I was in the wheelchair. She has previously said that she thinks that her wheelchair is the reason she wasn't invited to Markle's first wedding, which took place on a beach. Grant and Markle were never really close. To some, it may seem like Markle and her half-sister had this close sisterly bond before the Duchess turned her back on her sister upon becoming a royal. But according to those close to Markle, nothing could be further from the truth. Markle and Grant share the same father, Thomas Markle Sr. The two have different mothers. By the time Markle was born in 1981, Grant was already a teenager. Markle's mother and father broke up when she was only two. A friend of Markle's told People magazine recently, they've been made to appear as siblings who were very close and then they had this falling out, and that's not the truth at all, she continued, everyone who knows Meg knows that the two of them have no relationship. Grant even admitted that the two have been estranged since 2008. In October, Grant traveled to London in hopes of talking to Markle. She was seen handing a letter to one of the guards at Kensington and later apologized to the Duchess, saying, moving forward, I apologize and wish things could be different. But things didn't go as planned and a few days later, Grant was back at it tearing down her sister. Is there an ulterior motive behind Grant's actions? You can't help but wonder whether Grant's statements are motivated by unsavory incentives. Grant plans on releasing a tell-all book entitled, The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. She recently announced the book would be a two-parter. Grant claims the book is not going to be an attack on anyone, saying in part, It's more of a beautiful, warm, witty story of our lives and my life. In addition to her book, Grant has all but admitted to getting paid for talking to the press about her sister. She is also rumored to be appearing on the UK version of Celebrity Big Brother. Grant told Inside Edition, you take opportunities as they arise. Markle's friends speak out. Anytime you witness someone in pain, it's always hard to sit back and say nothing. Markle's friends have finally had enough. They tell People magazine that Grant started capitalizing on her sister once she started dating Prince Harry, noting that Grant started going by Markle only after Markle and the Prince began dating. Friends of the Duchess say they're worried about their friend, Meg has silently sat back and endured the lies and untruths. We worry about what this is doing to her and the baby. It's wrong to put anyone under this level of emotional trauma, let alone when they're pregnant.